right, stage four of the Tour de France was pretty chaotic. And um, it's a couple of reasons why I think that was. So we'll go through the video now. So number one is actually that it really narrowed here. So you can see they go through onto a motor racing circuit, mega narrow. Um, and that meant it got really strung out and no one really had good control. Like you can see there's a lot of different riders here, not all on the same team. You can see Cavs lead out, you can see like Caleb's lead out, you can see Trek's lead out, but there's not really one block. So the speed actually decreases. So it's 58k now there. Um, so the first crash happened at 1.7k to go. Um, no helicopter sh shot uh, footage that I could find. It looks like Jakobsen just like hooked his bars here. You can see the way his body is leaning towards uh, what was we look at it, our right. Uh, he then basically just overlaps the wheel, crashes out, only takes one lad with him, is actually quite lucky to be honest. These guys have lightning fast reflexes um, and they managed to get it out. Um, then this is kind of what I mean. Like when we look at this bit here, it's really like there's two coffinless guys, but like you're not going to go full 730 meters to go. Uh, Uno X as well, you know, they, they are what they are. They're kind of trying to lead out Christoph, but like, you know, they're just not that quick. Uh, Trek actually looked like they're okay, but... They just, yeah, again, kind of faulted. Anyway, I don't know how Case Bowl crashes, but he's here and then suddenly his bike's on the floor and he's not there. So I don't know if someone rode into him or someone chopped him or something. Again, the helicopter footage literally missed him just uh, afterwards. And then the last crash, which I think is even more like stupid, is this straight one. So uh, Warren Scold has finished his lead out for Kristoff. He then, I don't know if he's trying to like just watch the sprint and be like, oh, I wonder who's winning. Or if he's trying to like get involved and like try and put them off, Christoph. But anyway, he's looking right. But as you look right, quite often this happens, drifts the other way. So he drifts left and Axel Zango, I think it is, uh, is behind him. It doesn't help the barriers are not straight. I think this is spectators pushing the barriers, to be honest, which is the reason they're not straight. Because like surely when they lay them up, they're not that stupid that they're not, that they would be straight. Um, so you can see again here, like the, the barriers aren't straight, which I think is a key issue. Um, and then you can see the top of the screen, they're kind of colliding, uh, but we'll show better footage here. And to be fair, like the Kofferless lad, Zango, almost saves it, like very close to saving it. He like back wheel skids out and then at the end of the day, he just loses lose grip. And um, Warren Scold ate the barriers. Anyway, Philipson won, no stress. Uh, very easy sprint win for him, to be honest. Um, Cab looked okay. Um, KW looked good as well, uh, but Vanderpool is just a cheat code in sprints because he just comes past with so much extra speed and no one can compete with that. So anyway, cheers for watching. Hope you enjoyed this quick little video um, and I'll see you in the next one.